Well, first of all, there are no other vaccines against general herpes, so this is really the first one uh, <clears throat> that, is, that has gotten, well, I shouldn't say it's gotten to this point, but this is the first one that, that we think may be effective. Uh, to date, uh, most of the vaccines that have been tried against genital herpes have been the, the classic prophylactic vaccines where it's administ administered to a person who does not have the infection in an attempt to prevent them from getting the infection. That's the classic vaccine uh, scenario that's been, that's been the case since smallpox vaccine, where you give someone a vaccine that doesn't have the infection and try to keep them from getting the infection. This concept of a therapeutic vaccine is actually a novel concept where you give the vaccine to somebody who already has the infection in an effort to allow them, their own immune system to better control the infection. It's an idea that's been around for a long time and it's been tried in several cases. For example, uh, there, there's been interest in a, in, a, in a therapeutic vaccine for HIV to allow HIV patients to better control the infection. So far, none of those other vaccines has been successful. So this is actually the first, it's sort of a proof of concept, the first time where it's been shown that you actually can selectively boost the immune system to allow a person to better control an infection they already have. Well, we hope that we're able to continue to develop this further to understand more about uh, how well it works. Uh, right now, we're able to uh, reduce the viral shedding uh, that, that people have, as well as the lesion formation uh, by around 60%, which we feel is a, is a very good uh, result. Uh, but we would like to perhaps make it even better uh, to see if we could combine it with antiviral drugs, for example, and make it even better uh, treatment combination, uh, and also to see how long it, it works. Right now, we know that this effect uh, lasts for at least a year after three immunizations. Uh, it may last longer. We currently don't have the information on how long it lasts, um, and we're, we're working to get that information to find out if it's only a year, if it's two years, if it's three years, we don't know. Um, so we need to define the duration of the effect, and then also to see if there are other, other ways we can improve the system by adding uh, additional doses later to try to maintain the effect longer, uh, or perhaps even enhance the effect.